Hey, what's Gucci family? Um, in all honesty, I probably shouldn't be shooting myself at 4K60 because I look decrepit, like, oh, my low average. Like, like it don't, it don't help to be legally blind and then, like, shoot yourself at, like, 4K and then get up close and actually see what you look like. This nigga, damn. Um, I'm an affront to humanity. Uh, is that a word? Affront? That's a word, right? Uh, anyway, it sounds like it's a word. Anyway, I was sitting there thinking... I'm sitting there walking across the street and um, I'm sitting there just thinking. Um, over the years, I've I didn't put so many terrible, terrible images in my head. You heard me? Like I'm sitting there just thinking that all the all the all the messed up genres I've watched, all the them gore videos, all the just you know, just general negative videos about life and everything, all this, I have put so much terrible, terrible information in my head. But I also was thinking, thanks be to Christ, I'm like, kind of, what's that word? What's that one big church word? Humility, there we go. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, but, you know, because of the concept of it, it's like, it kind of shows me, not, not shows me, it kind of, I don't know, y'all rephrase this for me. It, it, it puts me in a situation where I'm like, realizing, yo, I done, I done subjected my mind to some terrible stuff, which in turn, because I don't want this to make it sound like I'm a victim, because I'm I chose to subject myself to these images, which in turn um, opened the the door for me to at least internally victimize other people. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Lord says, if you like you're you're told thou shalt not kill, but if you hate your brother in your heart, you've already you've committed murder. If, you know, you, thou shalt not commit adultery. But if you look upon your somebody with lust, you've already committed adultery in your heart. You know what I mean? And um, I think with like every time I try to talk, there's these big trucks come by. It um. You know, coming to orthodoxy kind of made me see that one. Damn, I, I didn't put a whole bunch of stuff in my head and mess my head up. Two, that's corrupted the image of God and the people around me and, and caused me to sin against them. Which ain't Gucci, that's not good, that's not, we don't like that. Um, but three, because orthodoxy, everything's got to be in threes, you know what I mean? Um, it, it also shows me there's a way through it. You know what I mean? Like, like I've, I've I'm started to realize, I think, that no matter how messed up my mind goes or how dark my mind gets or how icky, I'm going to say icky, I ain't, I ain't throwing out icky in a while, how icky things can get, it can be improved right not necessarily complete i mean through god all things are possible so I'm, I'm gonna say it could be fixed um i don't think undone is the word like not necessarily can't be undone but you know good can come out of anything right so i'm like i done you know, subject, subject myself to years of all these images and, and sin against every person that comes across me. But what what is some good that could come out of it? Well, the humility, right? At least that's the hope. Like God would basically just beat my soul down and say, look, or not or allow it to be beat down by the uh, situations I put it in. And then basically be like, I don't feel good, do it. They're like, no, Lord, I don't. You don't like to do it. No, Lord, I don't. 
it makes you reevaluate things, don't it? Yeah, yes, Lord, it do. And it kind of softens you up, tenderizes you, basically. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Like, I find myself praying a lot more, at least attempting to pray a lot more for people around me. Um, because I'm like, I, I've been shown, I think, at least a glimpse of how dark I could be. You feel me? Uh, uh, how selfish I could be. How monstrously lustful I could be. How uh, childishly selfish and greedy I can be. And, yeah, you know, I mean, I think, you know, God showing that to you, it's, it's a blessing but man, that shit hurt because it's it, it's like a it's a beating, it's a it's a whooping, right? God gonna pull out that switch and get you a whooping, but at the end of it, you feel better. Y'all remember the switch? Y'all remember the switch? Did you ever get a switch? I never got a switch. I got the belt. My mama chased us around the house with a belt, and, and that, that would terrify us. And I I only saw I think one of my cousins once was told to go get a switch, but I think by one of my aunts. And uh, y'all know what the switch is. Y'all northern folk, y'all know what the switch is? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Y'all know I'm rambling again. I'm about to go to work and pretend to be an adult. Y'all pray for me and pray for, pray for everybody. Just like that last one, like Father Seraphim said. Like, or kind of alluded to, I guess, yeah. You don't know who the next saint is, you feel me? Could be anybody, so pray for everybody. I love you.